Well, folks, my pillow CEO, Mike Lindell is back in the news again. He has a new prediction and he told Steve Bannon this week, just yesterday, actually, that Donald Trump is coming back to that white house. He's totally hundred percent sure of it this time. And folks, it's going to happen by Thanksgiving. So if you're planning on having Thanksgiving with relatives that, uh, you know, are of the MAGA persuasion might be best to go ahead and bow out now because, you know, they're all going to be bragging about Trump being president again. And, oh wait, no, that's not going to happen. Lindell, <laughs> I firmly believe is just totally delusional at this point. There is literally no mechanism in United States law that would allow for the reinstatement of a previous president. The electoral college vote has been certified. Folks, you can't uncertify something no matter how many times Donald Trump calls your secretary of state. It can't happen. But here's what Lindell said. This is the big announcement, everyone. I made a promise to this country that with all the evidence I have that we would get it to the Supreme Court and I predicted they would vote nine and oh to look at the evidence. Ah, you see how he's already changing it? Because just a month or two ago it was, they're going to vote nine and oh to reinstate him and throw out the election. Now it's, they're going to vote nine to zero to look at the evidence. <clears throat> he continues. Originally, I had hoped for August and September. I, I asked all the lawyers just yesterday, we we're taking this case to the Supreme Court before Thanksgiving. Now maybe Fox News will report that today. You heard it here first because our case is ready. We are bringing it to the Supreme Court before Thanksgiving. This evidence is 100% non-subjective evidence and that the Supreme Court, they're going to vote nine to nothing to take it in. We will have this before the Supreme Court, before Thanksgiving. That's my promise to the people of this country. We're all in this together. We worked very hard on this. Um, he also actually at one point went on to call his cyber symposium a great success. You know, so if that gives you any kind of indication about how delusional this guy is, because the cyber symposium was a disaster, like so disastrous that after it ended, he actually had to accuse Antifa of somehow sneaking in there and sabotaging it, which again, didn't happen. Trump's not going to be reinstated. Mike Lindell does not have any evidence whatsoever. If Mike Lindell did have evidence, however, he would have presented it at his cyber symposium or his lawyers would have already filed it in that lawsuit that Lindell is facing the $1.3 billion lawsuit from Dominion voting systems, they would have filed it there to get the case thrown out. I don't understand how anyone can look at Mike Lindell and these outrageously crazy claims that he's making and think that he's telling the truth. It's not real folks. If it were real, he wouldn't be in legal trouble right now. If it were real, he would have presented it at the cyber symposium or the week after or today or on Steve Bannon's show or during his Frank speech press conference he gave a couple days ago. How do you folks not understand that? He has been given every possible opportunity. He is being given every possible platform by some of the most outrageous right-wing networks out there to present the evidence. And every time he fails, every time, because it doesn't actually exist. The Supreme court is not going to take up his case. They are not going to look at the evidence. And even if by some strange chance they decided, Hey, you know what? It's a light week. Let's just look at this just to humor him. They're not going to reinstate Donald Trump. Not going to happen. There's legally no way for that to happen. And Mike Lindell is carrying on so that his followers don't see that he is a complete and total fraud, but that is exactly what he is.